Shalom brothers and sisters. So today I just want to give you a tip, something to think about doing when you're spending some time with the Lord and when you're reading your Bible and you're working your way through the word and you're just enriching your walk and just being at the feet of Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 17, God is giving commands on the kings and how they should rule and everything. When you get to verse 18, I specifically want to read to you verse 18 to 20. Also it shall be when he sits on the throne of his kingdom that he shall write for himself a copy of this law in a book from the one before the priests, the Levites. So he's commanding that the person who wants to lead, that is going to be king, takes blank paper and he writes a copy of the law, so the Old Testament, for himself in his own hand. Write it out. Verse 19, and it shall be with him and he shall read it all the days of his life that he may learn to fear the Lord his God. And be careful to observe all the words of this law and these statutes, that his heart may not be lifted above his brethren, that he may not turn aside from the commandment to the right hand or to the left, and that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children in the midst of Israel. So it is a very good practice especially if you just look in learning processes today in the world. When you're learning or studying for an exam, if you write out what you're learning, it helps your brain take it in and remember it. The whole action of writing it out. And it's really, when it comes to the scripture, when you're busy studying the Bible, if you're studying a book or anything, and you're writing it out carefully, making sure you don't make mistakes, checking against the actual source material, the Bible next to you, and you're writing this out as you go. As you're writing, you have notes too. And then things that the Holy Spirit's revealing to you, you're jotting on your notes. You're having aha, wow moments with God. Now you're really getting into the meat of the thing. Now you're starting to grow. You're starting to progress from milk to solid foods to meat to great things that are awaiting you as you start delving deeper. And there are things that he says will happen if you do this. You will read it. You will be reading it. You will learn to fear the Lord. And this is lost in our society today in a big way. People have turned Jesus into one of the boys, just one of the gang. That reverence, that awe, that fear of God, this is God, is lost. You need to learn to fear the Lord again, not fear as in scared, but fear as in awe and reverence and realize who he is. You will obey God's commands because you will know them. Your heart won't become proud because you will be in the word of God. You will not turn to the right or the left from following the law, following the word of God. Your sons will serve after you. Your children will be blessed when you're spending more and more time in the word, when you're taking it in, when you're writing it down, when you're applying it to your life, when you're studying. That whole thing will filter and affect your entire household and your loved ones. They will see this commitment. They will see the change that takes place. They did a study amongst Christians in America now at the end of last year where they studied when people we're reading the Bible three to four times a week, which for me is shocking because I'm living in it daily. I can't imagine not. Three to four times a week, the changes that took place in their lives, a lack of anger and frustration, depression lifted away, a total moving away from things like pornography and vices. People started becoming more Christ-like and living like the Lord wanted them to live. Why? Because you are putting your focus on the Word of God as it should be. And as you take all of that in, you apply it to your life, you're washing, you're changing your mindset, you're becoming more like your King, Christ. We are trying to be more like He wants us to be. Put more of the Word of God in. Study it. Love it, dig into it, 
write it out for yourself make notes soak in the word of god you won't be sorry god bless keep looking up shalom